हेलो माय डियर ऑसम स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द ओडा क्लास बेटर टीचर बेटर फ्यूचर सो टुडे आई गोना टीच यू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑसम टॉपिक दैट इज द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड फॉर दैट टॉपिक आई विल टीच यू ओम स्लॉ एंड अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दैट एज यू कैन सी ओम स्लॉ इज एक्चुअली द रिलेशन बिटवीन वोल्टेज वी इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट आई एंड द इलेक्ट्रिकल रेजिस्टेंस कैपिटल आर in any electric live circuit so what ohm's law ohm's law states that current in a resistance varies in direct proportion to the voltage applied to and it is inversely proportional to the resistance value means why in a resistance the current is flowing that current is flowing due to the potential difference between the two points of a resistance and the direction of current flowing is always from higher potential to lower potential and here you can see this is supposed to be positive means the higher potential negative stands for the lower potential and the potential difference which is denoted by capital v is the potential difference in between these two points and current is flowing from higher potential to lower potential and this is the resistance and the relation is i is equal to v by r or you can say potential difference is equal to current into resistance so this is the basic knowledge of the ohm's law this is the basic expression for the ohm's law now let's see how to apply this particular formula in a question of a live circuit and the explanation of that that what is the function of voltage what is the function of the resistance and what is actually the current i just want to demonstrate here with the help of this diagram in this diagram you can see this is the potential and from that potential this is the flow of something you can assume this is the flow of electron suppose the flow of electron is in that direction and the direction of flow of current electric current in this direction and here you can say there is the current flowing in this direction and the voltage is a quantity or a something which is actually pushing the current to flow this is the quantity which pushes to flow the current but there is a resistance as you can notice ohms this is actually the resistance and that resistance opposes the motion of that current so this is actually the relation between voltage current and the resistance like right? so i hope you people like that diagram and you can remember this diagram to find what is the function of voltage resistance and current let's see one question as you can see there is a question and that question you might a little bit difficult because in that question you have to find the current in 2 ohm resistance here this is the 2 ohm resistance that you can see and one very important concept that i would like to introduce is that whatever the current is emitted from a positive terminal of a battery that much of current must be entered into the negative terminal of the same battery as you can say suppose here if the current is i1 emitted from this positive terminal of the battery so this current will go here and will go here and it will go here but it will not go in that direction the complete current will go like this complete i1 current then only it will enter into the negative terminal why the current is not flowing in that direction because there is no any alternate path so that the current flowing in that particular resistance will back to the same circuit that's why the current is not flowing in that direction in a similar manner you can see here for this this is the positive terminal suppose in this terminal current is i2 and then the current will flow in that direction and the similar current will flow here and the similar current will go like this but the current will not go in that 2 ohm resistance and then the current again will go like this okay so this current is supposed to be i2 here is i2 the same current will again enter to the negative terminal right so the concept is the resistance which is not a part of a closed loop 
the current will never ever flow in that direction or in that resistance. To flow the current in any particular resistance, the resistance must be in a closed loop. So the question is now becomes very easy that the current in that two ohm resistance will be zero and you can see the correct answer here is option B zero, right? Because the current I1 will go like this and the current I2 will go like this because that 2 ohm resistance is not a part of a closed loop so that there is no current in that resistance. So guys, this is a very important question and I hope that you well understood that question now. Okay, so let's see one more question. Now you can see this is a very simple question and it is also related to Ohm's law in which we have to find the resistance, equivalent resistance. Then we will apply that equivalent resistance in Ohm's law and will find the current. Here as you can see the question in the circuit the reading of the ammeter means you have to find the value of this current and this is supposed to be I1. So we have to find the value of I1. So before finding that I1, we have to find the total current. And here, this is the positive terminal. So the current will, I will emit it from that terminal. But for that current, first we have to find the equivalent resistance. Now here you can see these two resistances are in parallel. And you know already that parallel combination of the resistance 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. Okay, so to solve it quickly, don't use this formula. Just for the parallel of two resistance, you can find R is equal to just R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Correct. And now you can say R equivalent R1, R2. You can say 4 into 5 divided by 4 plus 5. So what would be the answer of equivalent resistance? As you can see, when you will solve it, you will get 20 divided by 9. So 20 divided by 9 is what? Equivalent resistance. So what's the value of total current? As you know, I is equal to V by R. So you can apply the formula. I is equal to V divided by R. So what's the value of V that you have? This is actually the EMF of the cell. As you can see, the EMF of the cell is 10. So now you can say this is 10 divided by R equivalent and it is 20 divided by 9. So what you will get, you will get total current I is equal to, right, 10, 20, 9. So 10 and 20 by 2, you will get 9. Here you will get the answer 9 by 2. So 9 by 2 is the current, which is total current. But the target is the current in ammeter. Means this is not the total current in ammeter. So how to find that current? Let's see. So the total current as emitted from the battery is I and as we know that I is equal to 9 by 2. So what's the value of the current in ammeter? This ammeter is you can see here is I1 and as you can see assume internal resistance of the battery and the ammeter is zero. So there is no resistance in ammeter, no resistance in battery, just we have to find the I1. Means we have to distribute this current, this total current in two resistances, right? So here I would like to give you one trick how to find, how to divide that current in two different resistance. Suppose there is a total current and here there is a resistance suppose R1 and here there is a resistance supposed to be R2, right? And you have to find the current in here. If you have to find the current I1, the total current here is I and in R2, this is I2. So what is the trick? trick is that that the current is inversely proportional to the resistance. So you have to find in inverse ratio then I1, right? I1 is equal to, you have to find the current in R1, then here put R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into total I. 
right so how to apply this formula here here we have to find the current in this so in this you can see this is i1 so if you have to find the current in this resistance you can put 4 divided by then 5 plus 4 of total i then you will get 4 divided by 9 and total i as you know already is 9 by 2 then you will put this is 9 by 2 and you will solve then you will get i1 is equal to 2 ampere right so finally the answer the reading of the ammeter is 2 ampere so you can check the options here the correct option is 2 ampere and this 2 ampere is the correct answer means the question asked about the reading of a meter so reading of a meter is 2 ampere so guys this is all for today so for more such videos and more such beautiful amazing and awesome concept please subscribe our channel if you like the video please like it share it and also subscribe for more details thank you so much all the best for your exams